Hi, my name is Ross Wilson. I'm a veterinarian and I'm Chief Scientific Officer of PLASVAC. Today I want to talk to you about the importance of E. coli antibodies in plasma. A lot of you may not know that Caniplas donor dogs receive immunisations regularly with canine five-way vaccine and a killed E. coli vaccine as well. PLASVAC owns a killed E. coli vaccine whose antibodies stimulated in the, by vaccinating the donors are extremely therapeutic in cases of endotoxemia or sepsis or when lipopolysaccharide is present. Those three terms are all synonyms. So what's so important about E. coli antibodies? Um, there's a lot of references in the literature about the importance of E. coli antibodies in all animals, mainly in the human, but also in laboratory animals and also in the dog. And the references I'm about to quote to you now are all available on our website, www.plasvac.com, uh, under scientific publications. And um, you can look at them anytime. My reference to E. coli antibodies refers to antibodies that are either stimulated in the animal or the human or the lab animal by vaccination with an E. coli vaccine or actually put there by a plasma transfusion. So what is so important about E. coli antibodies in general? The literature has, there is a reference in the literature uh, to the effect that E. coli antibodies in the bloodstream in rats prevent sepsis, okay? These rats need a higher dose of bugs before they become septic. They have also found in mice that there's an increased clearance of gram-negative bacteria. In cows, uh, the main form of sepsis that we get with them is a coliform mastitis and E. coli antibodies reduce the economic loss due to E. coli uh, mastitis. The E. coli antibodies also provide cross protection to other bacteria and this is really interesting. E. coli is a gram negative bacteria and it's been well established that it provides cross protection against Pseudomonas, Klebsiella and Serratia. But interestingly enough, it also provides cross protection to Staphylococcus. Now that's a gram positive bacteria and that's extremely interesting that you get this cross protection. Additionally, E. coli antibodies pleasant, present in the bloodstream correlate to greater survival rates in cases of human sepsis. They also correlate to improved outcomes and long-term survival in human cardiac surgery cases. And they also correlate inversely to the severity of acute pancreatitis in humans. That is, the more E. coli antibodies that are present, the less severe the pancreatitis is. And that is because there is endotoxemia in pancreatitis. It, the two go together. Additionally, there's improved outcomes in experimental polymicrobial intra-abdominal sepsis in mice. This is to do with the classical model of sepsis in lab animals, and that's sequel ligation and perforation. That's a very, very good model of uh, sepsis and it's found that the sepsis is nowhere near as bad or the response to the animal is nowhere near as severe if there are uh, antibodies to E. coli circulating already. Next, we find that um, the E. coli antibodies provide uh, experimental protection to uh, E. coli infection in rats. There's no surprises there. Also, they reduce the lipopolysaccharide induced cytokine generation in whole human blood. That's a, a, an in vitro test, but they actually do uh, experiments with this blood, with various bloods, with varying teeters to E. coli, and they found that there's less cytokines produced if in the blood where E. coli antibodies are present. Also, E. coli, e. coli antibodies correlate to the presence of e experimentally induced, induced colitis in rats. That is, the more E. coli antibodies uh, that are present, the less severe the colitis is. Once again, it's an inverse relationship. And also they've found an increased level of E. coli antibodies in children that have suffered from intersusception. Intersusception is a very serious intestinal catastrophe. And if these kids when these kids recover from that, fa it's found that they have antibodies to E. coli. That when you think about it, there's no surprises there.
because you've inundated a susception, you've got gut with impaired circulation. Wherever you've got gut with impaired circulation, you're going to get leaching of endotoxins out of the intestinal contents into the circulation. So uh, furthermore, the presence of E. coli antibodies is, has a positive correlation with post-operative outcomes in human cardiac surgery. In other words, if there's E. coli antibodies present, the outcome from human cardiac surgical cases is far more likely to be positive. That follows on from the long-term survival rates I referred to previously uh, to do with human cardiac patients. And finally, in a model of um, experimentally induced endotoxemia in pigs, where they induce ischemia in a lower limb, um, uh, when they release the ischemic influence, endotoxemia results. If there's E. coli antibodies present in these pigs um, before this experiment is conducted, the effects of that lower limb ischemia reperfusion model are nowhere near as severe.